So this was a trial of patients uh, who uh, both had uh, pre-existing heart cardiovascular disease and patients who uh, had diabetes and who were at risk for cardiovascular disease, so both primary and secondary prevention. Uh, and we were assessing the safety and efficacy of uh, a drug called dapagliflozin, which is one of the members of the class of SGLT2 inhibitors. Uh, so this was a large uh, randomized clinical trial of dapagliflozin uh, in, in that population of patients. We um, had uh, two different uh, outcomes that we were assessing for uh, as our primary assessment. The first was uh, cardiovascular death and hospitalization for heart failure. Uh, the second was a standard, uh, what we call MACE uh, outcome, which was uh, myocardial infarction stroke and cardiovascular death. Uh, and so uh, what we did see uh, was a substantial reduction in the cardiovascular death and hospitalization for heart failure. Uh, we saw less of an effect on uh, the major adverse cardiovascular events. Um, but actually looking at that in context, um, really it isn't a surprising result. Uh, in fact, when we look across uh, the members of this class, from a cardiovascular standpoint, it seems like the greatest effect is in reduction of heart failure. Uh, and then um, the other effects that we're seeing with this class seems to be uh, in uh, the prevention of progression of kidney disease. So I think uh, ultimately um, the trial actually um, really fits in nicely with the pre-existing studies in this area. Yeah, so I think there's a couple of, of implications from this uh, study that uh, the clinicians should, should know about. Um, first, this was a broader population of patients than had been studied previously, so this is really the best uh, information we have on patients for primary prevention, so those patients who don't already have atherosclerotic heart disease. Uh, and so there was a benefit uh, that was consistent in those patients. So I think one uh, implication is that, that this extends out the benefit uh, to a broader population of patients. I think the second uh, implication is that there have been some uh, nagging concerns around uh, potential safety events with this class of drugs, particularly related to one trial showed a slight increase in stroke, one trial showed uh, some increases in uh, lower extremity amputations. Uh, and so with this trial, we had the opportunity to evaluate those things up front and to have a very careful look at those. Uh, and ultimately, we didn't see any difference. So I think the other implication is that uh, these uh, drugs appear to be safe uh, for uh, treatment of diabetes. So, so I would say the overall implication, given that the, the drugs are relatively safe and there is some broad efficacy, is that we really ought to be thinking about uh, using drugs that are effective in preventing cardiovascular events uh, as earlier in therapy.